Ron Fleming here from ronsflies.com for your fishing tip of the day. Today we're going to talk about weight selection. Living at the shore, I have a lot of friends that come down from the city and working in a tackle store. A lot of people come in and when they think about surf fishing, they think about the heaviest weight that they can possibly throw to be able to hold the bottom. And that isn't necessarily true. A lot of people have a tendency to get these large bank sinkers. A bank sinker is designed to actually be drug across the bottom of whatever area you're fishing in. Although it has a lot of weight, it doesn't have a lot of holding power. Whereas a pyramid sinker with the brass eye sinker at the top, what that's going to do is when that hits the bottom of the sand, it's actually going to dig itself into the sand, giving you holding power more holding power than this eight ounce bank sinker would do. A storm sinker has a little more surface which is going to help you dig into the sand even a little bit better with a longer profile to give you more surface area on the sand to actually help it hold a little bit better. And the best weight that you can have for surf fishing using the less less amount of lead possible would be your Sputnik sinkers. And these are designed with these steel rods to actually dig into the sand. When the fish picks up your bait and you go to set the hook, these steel rods bend back, which enable you to release the weight to be able to pull it out of the sand. So in terms of weight for surf fishing, bigger and heavier isn't always better. Profile and shape are going to be your key to letting you hold the bottom more efficiently. Sputnik being your best of the holding power, a round or bank sinker profile being the least. I'm Ron Fleming. That's your quick tip for today.